Hey friends, it's Alex and today I have my May book haul. So I kind of, I wanted to buy fewer books than I bought in April and I did buy like two. <laughs> so it's not really a win but I'm just going to pretend it is because I like winning. <laughs> so first up I got the third book in a series and it's not a series I've started but I own the first two books and everyone has just been massively obsessed with this series and I really want to give it a go and the third book came out in May I think um, so I picked it up and that is The Crown of Gilded Bones by Jennifer L. Armentrout this is a fantasy romance series I believe and that's literally all I know about it I don't really know anything else I can't read the synopsis because I don't want to spoil myself but I'm very keen to read it next up I have books two and three in a series and that is Days of Blood and Starlight and Dreams of God and Monsters by Lainey Taylor these are the 10th anniversary or some kind of special edition-y type covers I think they may be the 10th anniversary covers I'm not sure um but then these are the Illumicrate Illumicrate editions and they've put them in hardcover and given them these beautiful sprayed edges and then they have also put like a quote on the cover and there's some art on the reverse of the dust jacket which is very beautiful so that was Days of Blood and Starlight and I'll show you Dreams of God and Monsters as well so Dreams of God and Monsters we have the quote on the cover I should have read them out to you because I don't think you can read them this one says people with secrets shouldn't make enemies people with destinies shouldn't make plans and then this is the art which is also very beautiful and that is another series that I'm really excited to hopefully get to soon I think me and Beth are going to body read it hopefully soon I would also like to read the Strange of the Dreamer duology soon um, so yes I'm happy to have the whole series now and in these really beautiful hardbacks um, I also picked myself up a copy of Heartstopper Volume 4 I love Heartstopper. It's just the cutest, most adorable graphic novel ever. <laughs> and it just follows Nick and Charlie and their relationship and it's just oh, it's so cute. I love it so much. And I'm really happy that I have volume four, but I'm really sad because there's a, I believe there's only going to be five volumes, so it's nearly over. But I will just forever love this series and I'm so excited for the um, adaption that's coming out soon. I don't know when it's coming out. I also, I don't even know if it's a movie or a TV show, so I'm a pad fan, but I'm excited to watch that. Then I picked up a couple of books, one I've already read but didn't own, and one I already owned but got a different edition of. Um, so the one I've already read is The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. I've been making my way through Leanne Moriarty. I've been making my way through Leanne Moriarty's books on audiobook. The narrator is... Australian. Leanne Moriarty is Australian and these books are set in Australia and the narrator of the audiobooks is Australian so I just really enjoy listening to them and it's really nice to just hear the Australian accent again all the time. Um, and her books are just so so gripping and amazing and I love them so much and if you haven't read any yet you definitely should. And obviously I really highly recommend the audiobooks so definitely check those out. And then I finally got my hands on the hardback edition of Vengeful. I got um, Vicious last month and now I have Vengeful to match it and I can get rid of my paperback and just have a nice matching hardback set. And I think I said this last month as well but I just want to collect all of the eShop's hardbacks because they're just like really cute and they've got these silhouettes on them. I have not read Vengeful yet. I want to reread Vicious so I can finally get to Vengeful but I think that's meant to be a third book, I'm not sure, so I might look into that and if there is I'll probably wait for that. But I'm very excited to read this, I did really enjoy Vicious when I read it. Next I have a book from Goldsboro, 
and I have The Beautiful Ones by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. It's got really beautiful sprayed edges. Um, I have not read any books by Sylvia Moreno Garcia but I own three now so I def definitely need to get on with that. I'm really excited, I've heard really good things about them and this edition is really pretty. I love the kind of greeny colours of it and the edges. I'm just really intrigued by this edition. I also got my, I think it was my April Illumicrate which was a bit delayed but it did finally come and it is In the Ravenous Dark by A.M. Strickland. I had never heard of this before it came so I don't know what it's about but I've heard some good things and I'm excited to give it a go and this is a really pretty edition. It's got these stencil edges with flowers. I do love some stencil edges. Stencil edges. I also got a couple of pre-orders by authors that I, or pre-orders of books by authors that I love and I'm really excited for and the first one is one of my most anticipated books of the year and that's The Yearbook by Holly Bourne. Holly Bourne is one of my favourite authors, she's my favourite contemporary author, she's one of my favourite UKYA authors and I'm very excited for this book. It also has really pretty sprayed edges. I also got my pre-order of Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. I really enjoyed Andy Weir's other two books. I read um, Artemis first. I got it in an Illumicrate and I didn't think I was going to like it but I read it anyway because it came in my Illumicrate and I loved it. So I'm very glad that I did give it a go and now I've got his newest book. This sounds so interesting. It's basically about a guy who wakes up on a spaceship and he doesn't remember why he's there and all of the crewmates are dead. And he is actually on a mission to save Earth, I think. And it just sounds great and I really cannot wait to see what this book is about and how it goes. And it's quite a bit bigger than Artemis. So that's in, that should be interesting. Um, and I believe Nikki read it recently and really enjoyed it, so I'm really excited to see what I think of it. I also picked up some books that apparently have asexual characters in them and asexual rap. Um, I'm asexual and I really want to start finding more books with asexual characters and asexual rap to read and then hopefully be able to recommend to everyone, including other asexual people who may be looking for more books representing them. Um, but the two I picked up this time are Elatsue by Darcy Little Badger. Um, I've heard that this, well, I think it said on Goodreads shelves, LGBT, asexual, so I am just, that's all I have to go off that this one has asexual rep, so I hope that's true. I've heard really good things about it. I believe um, Kayla from Books and Lala really enjoyed it. So I'm excited to give it a go, and I will hopefully be reading it in June for the Whatever You Want thon. So Hopefully I get to it and enjoy it and I'll let you know. <laughs> and then the other asexual book I picked up was an older one. This one is definitely asexual rep. It's in the synopsis. Um, and it's an older one and it's really short and I think it's self-published. And it just sounded interesting. So I picked it up and it is We Awaken by Callista Lynn. Very intrigued to give this one a go and see where it goes. It's very short. It is 169 pages so I should be able to get through this one very quickly so hopefully I'll read it soon. And I'm intrigued. I've not heard anyone talking about this. I just found it when I was looking for asexual books so I'm interested to see how it goes and see what I think. On to the last four books. I ended up with another copy of the yearbook and I also got Kate in Waiting by Becky Albertalli. These were because I went to the, well, I attended the virtual tour that the two authors did together and I got my ticket with the books. So I got a second copy of the yearbook and I also got Kate in Waiting. I'm really excited to read this one. I love Becky Albertalli. I've enjoyed all of her books so far. So I'm really excited to get to this one too. And then the last two books were some Goldsboro books. So I have the Goldsboro Sci-Fi and Fantasy Fellowship book of the month but I can't remember which month it is. It might be April, it might be May, I can't remember. 
um, but it is Thread Needle by Carrie Thomas. I don't really know much about this, it's not the kind of book I would have bought myself if it wasn't in the subscription box, so I don't know what I'm going to think of it, but I know Beth read it recently and she really enjoyed it, and I think she said it was a really easy read as well, so that makes me more intrigued to give it a try. It also has these sprayed edges, which are like a London skyline and that looks really cool. And then the last book, that's a lie, I lied, it's not the last book. <laughs> Um, but I got another book from Goldsboro, I just ordered this one. Um, I think I ordered it at the same time as The Beautiful Ones. Um, and this is The Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynne. And this is uh, the first book in a new fantasy series and I bought it because I really like adult fantasy but also because it has a dragon on the cover and I love dragons. One of my favourite fantasy books, Priory of the Orange Tree, is like has a lot of dragon stuff in it and it's so good. So I'm really excited to give this one a try. I don't really know how the dragons come into this one, but I'm really excited to see. I don't know when I'm going to get to it again because I think it's a series and I don't have all the books because this one's only just come out. But hopefully I will get to it soon and I'm really excited that I managed to get this one because there were only 350 copies. I'm excited to hopefully give this one a try soon. <laughs> so the actual last book is one that I, well it's in books, um, they just came today which is why I nearly forgot about them, but it's this beautiful Infernal Devices box set from Illumicrate. So we have Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess. I did a whole unboxing video which you can check out if you want to see my thoughts. But I'm very happy with this set. So that was my May book haul. I nearly said April, it's May. That was my May book haul. Um, I got some exciting books. I really want to read them all but I definitely don't have time to read them all right away. So hopefully I can get some more soon. And hopefully my book buying will slow down and I can actually get some of these books quicker. But I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> Um, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!